Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. And in today's video, I would like to discuss with you a particular trend that I have noticed for a very, very long time now. And this trend involves both IT and cybersecurity professionals who acquire certifications just for the sole purpose of increasing the number of certifications that they have. Personally, I think that this is the wrong approach to certifications and you shouldn't do so. Don't get me wrong, certifications are great. The more certifications you have, the better for you. I'm not going to argue against that. However, my argument here is that there are certifications that you can go for that would help you a lot more than other certifications out there. If you're going to go for a certification, make sure that it serves either one of two purposes. Either A, the certification is going to help you transition from a new from where you're currently working on to a new field. So say for example, you are a SOC analyst, right? But you want to become an ethical hacker. Obviously, you want to go for a certification that would help you get a job as a certified ethical hacker, namely the CEH certification. Now, if you're not transitioning to a new field, then number two, the certification should help you get a promotion in the field that you're currently working in. Again, let's assume you are a SOC analyst, but you want to gain a promotion. Maybe you're a tier one, you're a tier two, but you want to become a SOC manager, a cybersecurity manager. What do you do? You start thinking of certifications under cybersecurity management. Now, why am I bringing this up? A few weeks ago, a student of mine who is already a certified ethical hacker, he's got a really, really good job, works for this company. He does certified ethical hacking things. He does pen testing as well. He messaged me saying, hey, Alex, um, what do you think about the CCNA? Would you recommend that I go for my CCNA certification, the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification? And I was puzzled. I said, okay, well, uh, are you thinking about leaving certified ethical hacking and moving on to networking is that what you want to do he said oh no i i i don't want to become a networking specialist i i do like being uh, be, being an ethical hacker so i said okay so why would you want to go for this ccna he said well because his friends and a few of his colleagues at work have the ccna and he feels that the ccna would help him in his resume and of course i said no you don't need the ccna it's a waste don't get me wrong Getting the CCNA would look good. Okay, I also have, you know, a certification on the Cisco. Sure, it looks good. But how will the CCNA actually help him in his current goals? So I told him that, look, rather than you spending time going for the CCNA, why not invest that time in acquiring other certifications that are closely related to what you're currently doing? Look for certifications in digital forensics, in pen testing, in bug hunting, malware engineering, things like that. That's what you should focus your time on. And even if you're not going for certifications, look for more skills that are related to what you're currently doing. That will make a, lo a whole lot more sense than you spending the time to start going for your CCNA certification. Now, there is almost no downside towards getting more certifications. However, remember that certifications aren't exactly a very easy thing to acquire. You have to spend money. And of course, you also have to invest your time to prepare for the certification. You have to take the training and then you have to take the exam. So please, if you're going to go for a certification, make sure that it is a certification that is going to either help you move over to a new field that you're interested in or help you get a promotion in the field that you're currently working in. Please don't listen to people who would say things like, oh, acquire as many certifications as you can. Certifications are great, blah, 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 blah. Sure, certifications are great, but please make sure your certifications are acquired strategically. There is a reason why you're getting that particular certification. It's going to help you move over to this new field or it's going to help you gain a promotion in the field that you're currently working on. Acquire your certifications strategically. I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you disagree, I'd love to hear from you. Why do you think my opinion is wrong? I'd love to hear from you. But of course, if you also agree with me, I'd love to hear from you as well. Put your comments, put your questions down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer as many of them as 
as fast as I can. So my name is Alex. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. If it's the first time you're here on the channel, this is Lab Cyberware. I talk about cybersecurity related issues. Please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.